Should I trade my truck for a Japanese truck? What do you think? It's worth? I don't know. Welcome to the vlog guys again, Maddie here as always. If you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe, it's very important. If you don't subscribe to my channel, you might have some curse on you. Kind of, you know, your cars can break down, problems can show up, I'm telling you. It's the Maddie's Garage Curse if you don't subscribe. Make sure to subscribe, I'm telling you. I'm just saying. So, also, Harder Force, a new, brand new V8 Nation t-shirt. You're gonna love it. So if you have a V8, doesn't really matter what it is, that's for you. I'm meeting up Gary right now because Gary, he traded his American truck for a Japanese truck. And since then, I'm making fun of him. But I really want to understand why he did this. And also, I never look at Japanese truck up close. It's, it's gonna be the first time maybe I get convinced that that's the best choice. Then makes sense financially, makes sense for what delivers. I'm a, I'm a chef guy, as you guys know, but it doesn't hurt to hear and see new stuff. So he's right now at race shops. So let's see if we can find time between because they are working. I don't want to bother anybody. So let's let's get to talk to Nissan Titan. So let me put this out so we can take a look at it. Look at this thing though, inside. He had a Denali. No, I think it was a Sierra. I don't know what he had. It was a GMC truck, but look at this. Look at this thing though, it's so nice. Uh, and you know, me and Gary, we were talking like how much you can get for this truck uh, comparing to and I like actually American GMC. I'll, I'll, I'll ask him what he got uh, on his truck and why he traded it. But this is a 2020 or 21, I believe. It's a brand new truck, has 7,000, 8,000 miles now. But he got it with 7,000 miles on it. And wow. I don't know, maybe I'm changing my mind about a Japanese truck though. Because this one is pretty sweet. What do you think about Japanese trucks? Because um, I know you are a Chev guy. But you know what this truck, and I know people don't want to hear it, it's 100% made in the United States. My fair opinion, I was born and raised a Chevy guy. Every new vehicle I've been in, no matter what brand, they're all really nice now. I know. 
So what? what I'm not going to talk about what, why what, I got rid no, of no, no, the no, GMC. No. Other than it didn't make me happy anymore. We'll leave it at that. What do you had? A 2019. I had a 2019 GMC Sierra, which I absolutely loved. It. The truck was spectacular. But you you were having problems. I with had yours. some issues with it, and I wasn't happy with the way I was being treated from the dealership. And uh, really? not that it wasn't uh, able to be fixed. They just didn't treat me right. I bought an extended warranty on it. They tell you, and right away, they tell you. That's not covered the first time I had an issue with it. A thousand miles out of factory warranty into the extended warranty with 37,000 miles on it. And they're like, ah, that ain't covered. But we'll do you a favor. And then the kid, you know, up there at the dealership, they didn't treat me right. And I was like, I'm not going to deal with this going down the road for the next few years. So I traded it in. I got more for the truck than I paid for it with today's market. And it was pretty much a fair, like, even trade for this. So I went, the sticker price on the GMC was 53000 The sticker price on this was like 63000 Now, I did get this as a year old with 7,000 miles on it. It's a 20, it's 21? It's a 2021, and it had 7,000 miles on it. Um, but it was an even trade. I went down and we pretty much swapped keys. I didn't have to take out a penny out of my pocket my payment changed by $13 a month by going to a two-year newer truck that's worth you know 10 grand more uh, less miles in warranty and my insurance went down $16 a month so it actually it's not, it's is not, better yeah it's I mean. better and I got a truck that blows cold air up your ass when it's hot <laughs> out so it really it, it, well but overall now you're Pretty happy though. I had a Nissan Titan back in 2005 and it was an absolute beast. And you guys, you guys can see, look at the, you can see me, me and Gary there because he did a clay bar and Junior just installed uh, PPF here on the front. It's still curing though, he just got done. I don't know, dude. I was never a fan of a Japanese truck. I had a Tacoma years ago and I put 200. And 67,000 miles on that. And not a single issue. I had to change the universals in it. And the, um, and I had to do a spark plug uh, change on it. And the funny thing was, I went by what they tell you. 15,000 miles, you got to do that upgrade. So they did a tune-up on it at 15,000 miles. Had those same plugs in it when I got rid of it. 267,000. <laughs> I never touched this thing. I did brakes on it. Yeah, One this. Exhaust system. They are pretty reliable they though. They said, all right, you buy the first exhaust system. Another one rotted off of it, and it was covered for the life of the vehicle. Yeah. Paid for one. I, I don't know, dude. I'm here looking at this thing, and I think, like, it's a pretty nice truck. I just, That gets me, like, pissed. Because why GM cannot make the same affordable truck with all this crap? And you know what? If GM crap. had treated me right at the dealership, I'd have kept that truck forever. I told my wife, this is my coffin when I bought that. I know. I and dude, if you, if you look here, and and if you look here though, look, dude, I mean, just the quality in this thing though, you cannot go against it. And I'm saying like, how am I gonna say it's a bad truck? It's a, it's almost impossible. And if you look like, I don't know if you saw the new Colorado. They just released they another. Just like a Silverado. But they at least they improved the interior because right. that's what pissed me off on that. You know? mm -hmm. And they put a. It's not V6 anymore. And uh, they're it? at 2.7. Four cylinder? Uh, turbo. Turbo four. four. Turbo four, yeah. Uh, and there's. The horse yeah. The now, yeah. And that, the, they put a, like uh, the Silverado wheels on it. So yeah. you can swap wheels between Silverado and Colorado. Oh, same lug pattern and everything? Yeah. Colorado's were tough to find wheels for. So I had yeah, it is. I might, it's uh, might, might super hard to find. But this you one, dude. Find wheels for them because it's some weird lug pattern. I don't know. Uh, you make me thinking. I know. Because it's it's worth it, and I'm saying like, of course I would do the lift to all the kind of crap that I do, but it, it's a really nice truck. Like the interior, dude. I nicest think if, truck I've ever had. If nice I was gonna get, get if I was gonna get a new 1500, and I, was gonna, I would go with a gas 1500. I'd go with a new Sierra Denali. I think. Yeah. Yeah, 80 grand. Buddy of mine just bought a Ford Tremor. Yeah. 
all beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful truck. The F-150? It's $77,000, an F-350. Yeah, my buddy just picked up And a, he bought it used for $77,000. With the Power Stroke or the 7.3 in it? Now it's got the 7.3. My buddy just picked up a 7.3. He ordered it in 2022 and uh, knew from that from Ford it was like 76000 or something like that. That's oh. nice too, though. But this thing, I mean, it, it was on a whim. I had a Titan back in 2005, and it was an absolute beast. So I got rid of some buying American. I bought two GMCs since then, actually three GMCs since then. Now you're going to move, move to Tokyo and living in Japan? <laughs> yeah. That's what you're going to do? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. It's a pretty sweet I mean, it, it, the truck has everything you ask can ask for. Dude, look inside. This, this panorama like the, this roof it's like just insane gm you cannot get this yeah. even on the top trucks uh the infotainment it's like way better There's 12 speakers in so the, the everything seems to be better though so the gmc i ripped the bose system out and, and you put it off their market yeah and it sounded it was unbelievable how good that sound but I was into that stereo system for over two thousand dollars to upgrade it to sound that good. Yeah. This thing came in there, and it sounds every bit as good, if not better, than the one that I paid all that money to upgrade it. Yeah. Jersey. And I'm not saying anything bad about it. I love that truck, but I had I mean, a lot of issues with yeah, it. Yeah, and, uh, and the customer service was awful. And the customer service sucked. And I was like, I'm not going to continue. And here, on a truck here's just a regular tailgate, right? Gus, ghost. When, when I took the, the light out, the, I upgraded these bulbs to LED because okay. they were like holding two candles back uh -huh. there. There's like a big shock absorber thing in there. Oh, really? The, it goes like a torsion bar from there to the shock absorber behind the light. Okay. It's the coolest thing. Cool. And um, it's got this, you know, so this comes out and you have like these cleats that clamp in there and they also clamp up here. So you can put tie downs all over the place. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I know. Um, I like the liner too, though. Yeah, it came with a liner. At night, it's got lights up inside there. Uh huh. And it's got these two lights here and here. And it'll, believe it or not, you can't tell in daytime, but this is all illuminated at night. So when you drop yeah. the tailgate, you know, you can see everything in the bed of the truck. Yeah, no, no. It, it looks pretty good, though. I, I have to say, it's, it was a good buy, for yeah. sure. I don't know. You're making me thinking. I don't know. I'm not. I'm yeah, he's a little bit clean now. Ah, right, shut up. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. It's a silly little step here, which uh, is actually for an old guy like me to get up in the bed of the truck. Oh, push I see. That down, yeah. And I can climb from there up onto the tilt. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think pretty. I mean, I'm. you guys know I'm a chef guy, but I like this. I think Gary made the right decision, though. I don't know. You have a Japanese truck? have them out you are attached to american trucks as gary said this bad boy here is made in america so but i don't know i just think chevy could get better uh, that's my personal opinion we'll see i definitely want a uh, a full size truck but i don't know when it's coming i don't know when i'm gonna be able to afford and this here gives me some option uh, let me know what you think let me know uh as always thanks so much for watching make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Never forget, enjoy your life and work hard for it.